What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. This time, as you can see, we have the iPhone and the topic is how do you zoom out in iPhone photos where you are editing them? So in case you're editing a photo and you want to zoom out, there are some things you should know about. The video is going to be split into two categories. The first one is when you have cropped the photo before. In this case, you can actually zoom it out in the post production in the editing process. So I'm going to show you the example when you open up the photos. Let's say that this is the photo which I want to zoom out in the editing. So I can click on edit like this. And when I go to the crop tool, you can see it's right here in the next to the revert button. So when I click on the crop, I can see, you can see that I, I can actually zoom out and get to the original photo. But the problem is that it only works, as I said, only in cases where I just cropped it in before, saved it, and then came back to revert it. So the original photo was taken as like the wide angle one. So you can see when it's cropped in like this, you can always just revert it to original with the same button as well. And you can zoom it out. So it technically works for the, for the photos which have been cropped in. But in case you want to do it for other photos, it's going to be a little bit trickier. So for that, you're going to need to use generative AI. I know it's not the best, but in case you want to zoom it out, let's say I want to zoom out of this picture. What's going to be on the other side next to this keyboard? Like, how do I make sure that I get more information when I only took this very specific picture? For that, you could theoretically use generative AI. So I'm going to show it to you right now. But before I need to show you that this is a video um, or this is an educational platform where you can find video editing course. It's called the Fox Tech educational platform. It's free to join and the link is down below. There are also the all apps explained course and everything what you can imagine. There are a bunch of people learning right now. So make sure to join it for free right now. But basically, I wanted to talk about the generative fill which is a feature of the Photoshop. Basically, this feature, as you can see right here, allows you to uh, generate some things out of a thin air using AI. And using this, you could theoretically just generate the rest of the image. So you could theoretically zoom out of that on the iPhone and create a, the surrounding part of the image using AI. I know it's a bit more complicated. It's not something that you're probably going to do but yeah, you, you have some options. Of course, for that, you can see that this uses Photoshop and it uses the desktop version of Photoshop. So in case you really want to do it and in case you really want to do it on a phone, there are some ways how you can go about it as well. But it's, as I say, kind of a bit more complicated. A site called uh, Adobe Firefly. So if you go to Adobe Firefly, you're going to be able to use the desktop version. You can see generative AI for everyone. So if you open up the app, you're going to be able to, to use it. And you, you can even upload your own picture. You can just sign in with your Adobe account and you're going to be able to technically do it on an iPhone as well. But as I say, it is much easier to do it, to perform it on a, uh, the desktop version of Photoshop or whatever else you're using. So I'm just letting you know that these options exist and that's how you could theoretically do it. But as I say, it's a bit more complicated than that. But I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up under the video down below. Subscribe to Fox Tech so you never miss future videos like this one. And I will see you in the future. Peace out until the next video.